Today's guest first rose to fame as a star of one of the most iconic TV shows of all time, Happy Days. From there, it was more memorable roles in film and even more television. He's now set to return for not only the new season of Arrested Development, but he's also getting rave reviews in the critically acclaimed Barry on HBO. Please welcome the man, the legend, Henry Winkler. The primary responsibility of any actor is to create the reality and let the audience live there. Mm -hmm. So where are we? Anywhere. You've been somewhere. Come on. Where have you been? Uh, grocery store. Are you asking me or are you telling no, me? No, I've been to a grocery store. All right, we're in a grocery store. Henry Winkler, welcome to the show. A ton of people yes. are huge fans of your new show, Barry. Set up the world of Barry and who you are in it. So Bill Hader is a low-level hitman, and he gets a big job. He goes to California. This is Ryan Madison. Familiar to my slaughterous thoughts. Hey, man. Are you new to this class? Help me out. Ryan, you're up. I'm gonna do the scene with him. And action. Barry is now on the stage doing a scene, realizing I don't wanna kill anymore. I wanna be an actor and I'm his teacher. But that is the, the juxtaposition. He is a working actor who pretty much doesn't get it. And in his theater, he is a god. Now, Bill Hader's phenomenal in Barry. Talk to me about his performance. Everything that you imagine about Bill is true. I watched him produce, write, direct, and star in this show all at one time, as he did all these jobs at once. There was no drama except what was on the soundstage from the script. <laughs> I see you're still in that place. I'm gonna leave you to your process. Um, I gotta ask you, you know, at your stage in your career, you're so well known. Do you still actually have to audition for roles? I auditioned for Barry. I got the phone call, would you go in and a read for Bill Hader? I thought, Bill Hader, wow, okay. And I asked, is Dustin Hoffman on that list? Why Dustin? Because he's a movie star, he yeah. would get it. <laughs> If, if Dustin was on the list, I wasn't going in. Okay. They said no. I said, okay. Have you ever had a bad audition? When? Uh, in the last 10 minutes? No. <laughs> I have had such bad auditions. Have you I really? mean, I went in to read for a movie, and I knew in every fiber of my being that I was crap. Really? And I'm not kidding. And I thought, okay, my career is over. And all of a sudden, an assistant of uh, another office came out and said, Bill Shatner would like to see you. I, I didn't really know him, and I sat down, and he literally talked me back to life. What'd he say? Don't worry about it. You know, I love horses. <laughs> I'm not kidding. It's, his entire office is a picture of a horse. <laughs> so, Henry, what's the story behind this? So. This is what I did. This was the Jones. first thing I did on the soundstage when I was doing my six lines as the Fonz. Okay. It said, the Fonz goes to the mirror and combs his hair. And I said to the director, <laughs> I, said, I, I made a deal with myself, sir, that I would never comb my hair because every actor has combed their hair. So I'll do anything else, but I can't do this. And he said, you're getting a lot of money. You're gonna comb your hair. So I thought, okay, I have to be a professional. I pulled the comb out, I looked in that mirror, and I went, whoa, I don't have to because it's perfect. And that moment, unbeknownst to me, defined the character for the next 10 years. We know you're cool. Yeah, you guys know I'm cool, but there are a lot of people out there that have never seen cool. Sad, but true. <laughs>